I find myself questioning the concepts of strength and skill, uh, determining whether certain exercises are required or more demanded compared to other exercises in order to maximize progression. Now, obviously, I'm still in the uh, like in the experimental phase with the front level, and I'm still doing things that feel good and work best. Obviously, I haven't put in enough dedication and time in order to see adequate progression to um you know to provide like a, a satisfactory um conclusion to these certain exercises right now i'm mainly just going off the back contraction and seeing how my back feels when i do the front level and seeing whether the exercises also work the similar contractions that i feel but when i go back to this topic of skill versus strength um it confuses me a bit with the planche, I'm a lot more meticulous and I tend to focus a lot more on balancing between that isometric proportion versus dynamic and bent arm work. I believe that, I strongly believe that you cannot learn the planche without um, either one of them. You need both of them no matter what. However, it seems like the front level seemingly has a lot less of a skills threshold compared to other exercises and other skills. So with this less of a skill requirement, can this be compensated with pure strength output? So far, it seems like a lot of athletes from their own anecdotal um, advice, they all seem to say that strength is a go-to in order to learn the front level. They will be like, um, they can do a weighted pull-up with their body weight. And once they did that, they just got the front level straight away. They didn't even know what the front level was, and they tried it out, and they got it. There's other people that, um, pro- I don't know why, but maybe their proportions and leverages are most ideal, but they can't really do that many pull-ups, or they don't have as strong um, pulling strength, and yet they learned the front level super fast. Now, obviously, the complexity that revolves around the front level I'm I'm very lacking in, so I don't understand too much, and um, I probably won't go too deep into this, but it's more about what is prioritized for the for this movement, and um, some people preach that you need to learn or you need to do a lot of muscle ups in order to learn this movement, and others are saying that weighted pull ups have no um, transitionary strength to the front level. Because it lacks um the the neurological like similarity with the front level now um again, I feel like I need to be putting a lot more time into this into training. I need to play around with more exercises I need to like dedicate and invest time in order to see progression once I have definitive progression, then I can say, "Oh, so these two have a linkage." One, while I was doing this exercise, it seems like it's been progressing a lot more with my front level. And um, again, uh, I think what I'm playing around with so far are pull-ups, uh, weighted pull-ups with a bit more emphasis on shoulder extension. So keep keeping my elbows close to my chest, sorry, to my torso, and um, barbell rows. Now, having these weighted variations seems to deviate from the intrinsic calisthenics based and body weight of the front level and while they may have some form of success in transferring power and strength maybe i may maybe i'm lacking some of the uh, neurological and like that general touch with the front level being more of your control of your body and um, acknowledging the movement that consists of like the isometrics in front level i'm not too sure I'm still going to be playing around a lot more. And again, I'm playing around with a lot of the advices and exercises that the comments section has been providing and seeing how that goes. So that's basically it and I'll finish it off here.